Welcome back everyone to Startup Company. Today we are going to be continuing on and hopefully making a profit as well as recruiting some uh, more employees. That's the aim anyways. Um, we've unlocked some new stuff so we've uh, unlocked the manager and a small retirement plan and um, that can help give, uh, give a boost in the office essentially. That's what the benefits are there for. So we've got a contract from Jeff and he needs us uh, to develop an encryption component. So I think we're going to have to switch one of our two developers onto it at some point. But I think, I think, I think I remember. I think I sent someone home, so that's, that's a little bit of a bummer. We we lost one developer, but yeah, it, it'll be it'll be fine. It'll be fine. We can uh, we can cope with the encryption component capacity. We've got 40 hours left, anyways, to get that done, and it should be very straightforward. Although I don't know about Jeff though. He needs to increase his speed because that, that would help in the future. Um, funny enough, they don't have to actually be in the office to uh, manage a contract, which is a little bit stupid, in my opinion. You can just accept the contract and then send them off on a holder, which is beyond me because then they're not manager anymore. Anyways, we're going to switch Josh over to the encryption component development. That'd be fun. Um, we're actually progressing towards tier 4 nicely. Um, our office has 8%. That's, that's the benefit, so that really doesn't help at this stage. We need we need a lot more office bonuses, so I'm going to buy a, a coffee uh, machine there. That helps to increase um, the work environment, essentially. And then a certain type of employee, such as intermediate or expert, needs a certain amount of, you know, like office environment to work there, which is which is a bit annoying. Um, hopefully that's going to get ditched because uh, there's there's no real need for it, to be fair. Right, so um, we've got Charlie back now, so he's going to continue on with that um, database. I think it is database component. I think it is. Yes, it is. Um, although I think we need some UI components because we are running low on them. In fact, we'll have none left after this contract. So. This is where it's going to get a little bit difficult because we don't have the capacity to send people like on a holiday for too long. Because there's just not enough people to craft components. So I think Josh might have to work it a bit. I don't know. He might have to stay beyond the mood, you know, benefit and just get slower and slower all the time. That's how it'll work. Um, but So we're nearly uh, trading Jeff to intermediate level. Um, we actually completed the contract on time. Oh boy. Jeff, mate, that was quick. Right, so we're going to need an encryption component again and another database component. So that's a little bit of a pain. Um, so Josh is training. We're going to switch Charlie, though, to an encryption component. And hopefully he can get that done because I don't know who's the faster one here. Yeah, Charlie was the faster one, so I was probably uh, wise to do that. So database component. That's what Josh is going to um, develop. And Jeff is getting a little bit worse for wear on the mood. Um, completed that. That's, that's great. Look, we've completed two contracts. We're nearly tier four. That's amazing. Right, so Jeff. Oh, gosh. 46% mood. He's got a 54% mood penalty to his total speed. Although it's not disastrous, it's just terrible. Really, in terms of trying to find such like search for contracts, for example. Uh, but I, I don't know. I can't really, I can't really have another sales exec because look at my money. Oh, in fact, it's gone. It's gone up. So we're only 822 in the red now. We were like 7k or something. I think it was 7k in the red before. That's amazing. We have come a long way. So let's check on our stocks, uh, shall we? Oh wow, the tube, also known as YouTube, has seen an increase rapidly. Um, that's daily movements did the same. Oh, it depends. You can't really judge at this stage how good they're performing. You just can't. You can't judge at all. It's been what? Did 17 days and they're only updated every seven. Yeah, I'll read it. It's going down. Um, you know what? We're gonna buy some shares in read it because the 200. Oh, well, 202 dollars for a share in read it. I must remember that. I must remember how much I paid. 202, I think it was, per share. Um, so now we've accepted another contract, sent Jeff on a little holiday. 
um, just to get his mood back up. So that leaves us time to develop an encryption component and to train people. That's the point. We need to increase speed with these contracts coming in and hopefully when Jeff is off, we'll uh, get a good bank of components, which is essentially the aim. Every time I send a sales exec on holiday, you know, you want, you want a good stack of uh, components but we only have two developers so it's going to be a bit tough I suppose so I'm going to send Bess on a holiday even though she hasn't even done anything um, she's been training all the time so I might as well send her home and just leave the two developers to work at it I suppose but um, yeah we're nearly tier 4 we're still we're not even budging closer I think oh I say that 1% closer so essentially oh no Got someone else on bad mood now. Well, we've reached tier four. Uh, we've got a lead developer. So they merge components together into modules. These are pretty good later on down the line for us lead developers. I think the roles we unlock are significantly far ahead than what we need to be. Because we don't need a manager yet and we're far, we are far from a lead developer. Once we get more developers and maybe another sales exec maybe even designers at some point if there's a demand for that then we could possibly benefit but i've uh, i've rearranged a couple of things we're now in the profit zone and i'm uh, gonna buy a little uh, office board here i've bought some more workstations and i've rearranged everything because i'm gonna bring some more developers in and i'm gonna bring another sales exec in uh i don't this glass wall business i don't I don't see the point, to be fair. Maybe to segregate, like, the sections out, maybe, but it's boring. It's only one floor. It's just... Oh, it's just a pain that you have to cope with this terrible building. And I think we're pretty much at the uh, the maximum as well for workstations, but we're going to recruit... Um, either a lead developer or a manager, because... Uh, in fact, I decide on manager... Because lead developers, I don't know. I don't know though. Ah, I'm, I'm kind of stumped which one, which one to go for. Um, we can't unlock anything else other than lead developer and stuff. But um, in the meantime, we uh, we uh, get a sales exec post up and running. So um, we take on, of course, one of the uh, the cheapest ones, Ruth Bird. And she is going to help Jeff with searching for contracts. Although that's probably a little bit stupid for me at this point. Because I don't have enough developers. So basically I've got a developer tied to a sales exec, essentially. And that's not how it works. But, you know, just in the instances like that when I need to send Jeff home, we need someone to get contracts in, otherwise we're not making anything at all. So a communication component, I think it is. Or it, the little Wi-Fi. I keep forgetting these components, honestly. I just, I just forget them all the time. Network component, that's what it's called. Not, not something else, but uh, anyways, we need another one of those. All the developers will need to know like the basic stuff. So I've unlocked pretty much everything for these two developers. Uh, essentially, I think it's, I think it's only uh, Charlie. No, it's, it can't be Charlie. I think it's, it's either Josh or Charlie that hasn't got all of them. To be fair. I don't really pay attention to what's on the screen, to be fair. I don't even know which one I clicked on to uh, give the network component to in the first place. But um, we've got a new contract. Yes, we can accept this one. Have of high agencies. Uh, wow, 7,000. Close to 8k. That's amazing. That is amazing. Oh boy, well, Charlie's unlocked all of them. So that's who I assigned the network to uh, in the first place. Eventually, we're going to need to promote them, but I don't think there's, well, there's, there's literally no need to. We've got another developer, we're, we're going to recruit another developer. Um, it's going to, it's going to be a bit tricky, I suppose. Um, I think we could afford to splash out a little bit on some developers. Although I've been, like, going for the cheapest, it's still beginner level, but I don't know whether or not to take on someone of higher like speed although it would help but they're quite expensive for example Lizzie Tile is quite expensive but compared to Jordan Andrews she's cheaper 
or has less speed. But then I eventually, I eventually go for Rosetta Bennett, who was a, who was who was quite quite cheap. But we're going to train her anyways. With the people we get in early doors, which it, this is now, I'm going to have to start training them to the point where they're at over a hundred plus speed. Because anything less is just detrimental. Essentially, it's pointless. But Jeff getting another contract in, that's that's fantastic from Jeff. Um, we're going to respond to that in a minute once we uh, take a look through this. I'm thinking of someone else as well. We could afford to take on, I think, another developer. Hmm. Although I'm not going to buy, uh, I'm not, I'm not going to hire someone who's just like 132 at 5k. Which is going to be a lot. But we're going to settle for Lizzie Tyler. Um, 5,100 and. 30 or something like that, which is the highest paid by far. So she's going to be doing the encryption components. It's as simple as that. Um, we've got we've got four developers, uh, a designer and two sales execs. So we're at about eight workstations, so that's not going to stay like that for long. We're going to have to move into a bigger building eventually if we want more people, because that's how it works. You can't stay in this building forever, because literally you need more people. Beyond a certain tier, you start getting stuff from like what you've unlocked. So essentially, we could we could possibly start getting like lead developer component things to do. That's that's just how it is. And if we get that, well, we're gonna have to, to climb it first off and then recruit someone to do it. But it's it's another day. Oh, we're still oh, we're making a loss now. Damn. We did have a profit slightly, and then it went down again. Right, so we're going to have to start... Um, oh, no. Oh, no. We've we failed to hit a contract deadline. Oh, bloody hell. That was not good. Right, I don't... Right, it says, do not expect any more business from us. That is a total lie. Because they still come back to you. It's unreal. Oh, wait. We got some stuff from Reddit now. The company we have shares in. So that's amazing. Well, they're only, they're only paying us, like, just short of 5,000 for it. We're going to need a design component. Well, another one. That is, so I'll uh, set Bess on that, and she's nearly done, believe it or not. Um, Josh is going to do some more database components, whereas Lizzie's going to do some more network components, because they unlocked the network as well for her. Um, Backend components, Rosetta's going to take over from those. And I think we've got pretty much the basics covered. For now. Until we get a manager, it becomes a little bit repeated clicking, but eventually it'll become way more easier to uh, to get these components done. And in fact, we'll have like a load of them in the bank, which is what we want, essentially. Um, we need another encryption key for this contract. And we've got 59 hours, and we're getting paid two. We're getting paid two thousand for it. Oh, I hate these low amounts, but the more we complete the more profits we'll earn. It's as simple as that. But um Yeah, this is this is what this is the problem that we have the sales exec start well Jeff starts earlier than any, than anyone else. Which is a bit weird. It really is because he can it's all good if he's finding contracts. But it's useless if he's managing them. That's that's the only downside to it I suppose. Uh, but Jeff has another contract. Oh look at that, see? What did I say? What did I say before about uh, lead developer components things and uh, the contracts reflecting the stuff you've unlocked? Yep, there you go. That's a perfect example of it. We just got a contract and had to decline it because it had a lead developer component thing for it. So, my natural reaction is get a lead developer. Because otherwise we, we can't do any contracts. Really. And um, we're kind of... I should say limiting ourselves significantly. Um, but we're going to need a design component, and in fact, designers are pretty useless because can only do three things. I think it's, I think it's stupid. The, the the designers really aren't needed for more. Well, they are, but they're useless. You might as well just pay them like literally. You might as well find the lowest paid person you can, hire them, and then you're fine because they're only doing three components, which is. There's too many roles like that. In fact, like one is too many. If you've if you've got three components, that's it. It's just pointless. 
the, the developer side is more like in depth and has loads of components. You, you don't even need to really promote a designer to the next level because what can they do? Nothing. Be quicker, but it doesn't take long anyway to design stuff. So you might as well just get a beginner, train them up to the max speed, don't promote them. And there you go, you just got a designer, the cheapest price, only doing three things. It'd be nice if they added a bit more like in like depth into it. But we've got employees um, for lead developer. It's going to take a while actually to probably go through these all properly, but uh, I, know, I know for a fact I'm not picking the first one. Uh, in fact, I think about... I don't know, three three thousands okay, but the two the two slow. So for that reason, I didn't I didn't hire the cheapest one because I hired Nora Wood instead. But this is where it gets a little bit trickier. You see, all these next level unlocks uh, eventually will be will come uh, of more use to us when we're creating our own product, which will be later down the line. I'm not going to say when. But it's going to be later. We're still making a loss. We're on six thousand nine hundred seventy-one dollars. This is going to be a pain. It really is. I'm um, just looking at all these requirements here just to see what we need. Um, I know the second one. You need one of those. Um, this is a back-end component and a network component. And I don't know if we'll get it done. I don't know how fast they'll be, they'll be able to do it. Just saying. But this is when we're going to need to start having more developers um, and developers being quicker at things. And then we're going to have to start like getting more. I think I think we need about six developers to help the lead developers out. That's that's what it is. Um, just checking on my read at stocks. Yeah, they're going down. So that's, that was a great investment, wasn't it? That was a fantastic investment. The best investment I ever made. Not really. Um... So I'm going to see how these other two developers are going to be doing. 114 training and Lizzie needs... Oh, she probably just needs a break, to be honest. Boy, this is going to be difficult to start with, but uh, we'll, uh, we'll get there. We'll get there, definitely. Um, Ruth's going to search for a new contract. Jeff's managing the existing one we have. Um, he's okay with mood. Well, Nora's okay with mood, I suppose. She hasn't even been here like five minutes, and yet she's already like... Get depressed. Oh, Charlie, mate, you're gonna have to go on older. Oh, high urgency for five thousand. Um, Vilio. So we'll uh, we'll we'll accept that in a minute. But I just want to see if Nora can get this done. We've got five hours left. Can it be done? Can we not actually break down? Oh my God, we've just done it. Three hours left. To be fair, that's two contracts done. If we had skipped time there, it would have been like. I don't want to make that mistake again. Just it's a, it's a no no. So this is where we're going to have to start getting uh, a lot of components in the bank because, as you can see, well, we don't really have anything. We can do an input module, but that's for later on. We don't actually need input modules for what we're doing. I don't think well yet, anyways. Um, so we've got two idle staff. Um, search for new contracts for Ruth, and then. Nora's just idling. Well, there's, there's no components, really. We're going to have to do it one at a time. We can't have auto-repeat or anything. Um, so, yeah, there we go. Graphics component now. So we're going to have to get best to do the uh, all three of them now. But we can't because that's not, that's not what we're doing. We're not doing that. We can afford to reject that because it was a bit shit priced anyway. Um... Need a network component. Everything else we've got plenty of. Well, plenty at this stage. Um, Charlie Hogan needs to go on holiday very soon. Um, I think I'm going to send him on uh, a vacation. Because right now, he's pretty depressed. Look, see? Graphics component for an interface module. I'm declining that because we're going to skip time. And I don't want to accept a contract while we're skipping time. Because then we can't do anything. Right, so we're 14k in the bank. We're still losing money. Hmm, what else can we do? It's a bit strange, really. Um, look at the speed levels. The worst one by far is uh, Lizzie Tyler, but that's to be expected. Jeff, right, this is the problem. That This is the problem that we have. Jeff's our fastest employee. That shouldn't happen. 
the developers should be the fastest. But then Jeff can find contracts pretty quickly. So we're going to have to sort that out at some point. We can't have Jeff being the quickest. We, have to, we want the developers to be the quickest. But um, got quite a bit of infantry now. Um, we're actually making a profit. So I skipped like today 26 and we made like 11k. Just short of 12k in profits. But that's going to be it for this episode of Startup Company. Thank you very much for watching. Next time we're going to continue to expand on the profits. Hopefully get the next tier and find out what we've unlocked. Um, and get some more employees as well. But if you have enjoyed everyone, leave a like, subscribe for more indie and simulation game content and I shall see you all next time.